A new anti-drone radar system has been installed by the authorities to detect drones flying illegally at this year's National Day Parade. The system will supplement security personnel on the ground. Look Kok Fai with more. This year's National Day Parade will feature the largest drone display in Southeast Asia. But apart from these 300 flyers, no others are allowed into Marina Bay's airspace without a permit. The floating platform and its vicinity have been designated a special event area. And flying a drone in the area risks a fine of up to $20,000, 12 months jail or both. The police say the same applies to those flying drones outside the area in a way that disrupts the parade. Part of the authority's anti-drone efforts includes this Gamekeeper radar system, capable of detecting even small consumer drones within a 5km radius. Installed just ahead of the parade's second preview show, it allows the authorities to pinpoint the general vicinity of illegal flyers, allowing ground forces to carry out follow-up action. But even before the sun sets on the year's largest event, the authorities are raising their guard in light of the security climate. Security forces are prepared for chemical attacks or threats involving explosives. Counter-terror emergency response team officers will also be deployed for the first time. At the same time, we will also step up our drones uh, patrol around the Marina Bay uh, platform area. NDP involves uh, many low-flying aircrafts and, uh, and therefore uh, drones, the uh, flying of drones may actually impede the safety of uh, some of these uh, uh, aircrafts. Thorough checks will also be conducted on vehicles and people in the area. So with the recent terrorist attacks with involving vehicle rammings, involving bombs, involving gun threats, we've prepared a whole new set of um, contingency plans in response to all these different terrorist attacks. So notably, we have mass casualty plans in place in case of any bomb incidents, in case of any terrorist attacks, and all of these have been rehearsed every week. Police will have the power to refuse entry or remove an individual or vehicle from the designated area when necessary. More than 5,000 security personnel and volunteers have been deployed for this year's parade, as well as over 500 medical staff. Now, the Game Ke uh, Gamekeeper radar system was acquired by ST Electronics from UK firm Avayan in February. Now, you also find this in Monaco and Paris. Now, the Gamekeeper offers the difference between being having a torch or having the lights on. Now, a traditional system uses the flashlight in the dark mode. Avayan, however, uses a holographic radar. It turns on the light, illuminates the entire sky and records everything in view up to five kilometres away all of the time. And now it also designed to detect multiple targets, even ones that may be as small as 10 by 10 centimetres. Plus, it's capable of discovering each object's 3D positioning and movement at all times. But tracking is just one part of the puzzle. The gamekeeper also transmits this information to ground forces. And that leaves local authorities with the ability to hone in on suspected illegal flyers.